Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So, um, a couple of things. First, we wanted to make mention and ask everybody to send their prayers to Bruce sees all's family and for Bruce himself as as Bruce has passed on it's been uh, posted by his family that Bruce is no longer with us um, there was no cause of death given uh, Bruce Schwartz ufologist um, the channel not too dissimilar uh, from us and he was 49 years old, so way before his time. Uh, again, this is Bruce, uh, as he describes himself as a self-taught ufologist and astronomer. When you uh, look to his videos, I think it's stuff that we all would be kind of interested in, all about UFOs, disclosure, spacecraft, military things, secret projects, uh, weather modification, cloud seeding. You know, um, all around a uh, good guy, and, and there's quite a few people that follow us that, that followed him too. So it does make a difference when we send out um, positive prayers and intention when somebody has crossed over to the other side. It can make a big difference in reality. It could really help them uh, gain clarity. It, it can and you know the positive intentions to the family can help the family to you know assist in those energies that are pulled down uh from loss right now so we definitely do open our hearts to to them and this is so unfortunate he went way before his time far too young extremely talented had an understanding and he had a vision and he's seen things and he was very passionate about it and uh, he just, he really wanted to help awaken humanity, and, and this is a huge loss. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I haven't looked at his channel in probably a year. Um, yeah, as I have in the past, occasionally watched some of his videos uh, when people make, made mention. Uh, and one thing that I see is something very familiar, which is, you know, a channel with 100,000 subscribers. And he was obviously going through the same stuff uh, that we do. As you can see, 394 views, 672, 528. You know, it, it's, it, you know, we're, we're, we're fighting that battle uh, to awaken the planet to perhaps question the narrative. And again, he's somebody that was doing that. He was questioning the narrative and saying, hey, guys, look up and and see what's really happening. <clears throat> As you can see, the, the titles, again, you know, somebody that's um, very much, um, as they would say in some circles, kith and kin to us. And so, you know, blessings and peace and may Bruce's path be lighted and smooth and may he be happy and free. Indeed. So, um, yeah, that was that was something that we just wanted to share a little bit of. Um, interestingly enough, you know, we received an invite by YouTube to a boot camp. As they, the way they worded it was, um, oh, we enjoy your content and we'd like to help you um, with this boot camp. So you could apply to take part in this boot camp. Uh, which will give you ideas on, on content creation and topics and how to properly monetize, you know, maximize your monetization, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you remember I was talking about LinkedIn, you know, you, you'll have somebody that will guide you here. And here is a link and then I click the link and it goes right to LinkedIn after I made those comments about how you can never get rid of LinkedIn. And then our Uncle Joe was just saying, have fun with the profile and, and make it, you know, just, just make it something laughable. Because apparently you really can't ever delete your LinkedIn anymore. By the way, we want to thank our Patreons. We couldn't do it without you guys. We, we love and appreciate the support over on Patreon. It truly is a lifesaver for us and our newest Patreons. Oh, yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Ken, uh, Stephen, and Maria. You guys, thank you. You make all the difference in the world, and you help keep us going. 
Absolutely. And again, exclusives going up on Patreon every week. Um, Coca-Cola, it, look at this tweet here, signed a contract with that Gil, Gil character, that Gil Bates character. Put Nanu, Nanu in the soda. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, there's, there's a lot of people buzzing about this. You know, as you can see, the hashtags. Yeah, the cat's out of the bag. It's finally out of the bag mainstream. Fluorescent nanoparticles found in Coke. Uh, they cross the blood-brain barrier. Yes, you, you know Coke was called Coke too because originally it did have actually cocaine. That's the insane part of this. But yeah, you know, when you look at this is from 2018. Look at the dates on, the, on these. Uh, this is old and fluorescent nanoparticles present in coca-cola and pepsi -Co cola absolutely <clears throat> and as we've said you know the guides when we were traveling cross country uh 2019 uh the guides were very specific do not eat any fast food ever period and you know that includes things like you know grabbing a soda i have not drank a coke or a pepsi in I want to say 20 years or more, over 20 years, not a single one. We don't drink soda. We we don't drink any sodas like that. I mean, we will have um, some s sparkling uh, carbonated water, certain brands only that we feel you know a little bit more comfortable with. Um, in general, these big companies don't. We don't drink anything. We don't eat anything from the big companies. There's not a big company out there that I trust, and, and that's just that's just the truth. This is from 2015. Uh, you know, these these uh, here you go, fluorescent nanoparticles from several commercial beverages. This is not new. So you know, yes, it's new for those that are waking up and they've been sleepwalking, and now all of a sudden, you know, one of our family members lost. Was it five or six family members? Yeah, I mean, literally lost a, a huge chunk of their family in the last, you know, we're, you know, several years. You you get the time frame, and it it's an accumulation of things. Two out of three Americans use mouthwash. Uh, gosh, no, why would you do that? Yeah, you know, that that's what hits my mind is why would you do that? Really, all you need is some organic coconut oil and and some organic um, mint, you know, peppermint. Uh, essential oil that's it's it's good you know a little baking soda in there and you know it makes a great toothpaste if you're having pain you could add clove into the mix you could if you're worried about uh, anything spreading add, add a little tea tree again all essential oils organic that's all we've used for for uh, a long time over a decade i i used to at one point in time spend like eight dollars for a little thing of you know the toothpaste that was the better quality but then you know that itself was not as good it, it definitely not as good because um any sort of sensitivity gum sensitivity everything went away when i just started to make my own and it's so simple it doesn't cost much at all i mean it's really cheaper to do it this way and yeah you know you can see there's toxic stuff in everything you know so people that use this it increases your blood pressure and it kills your microbiome again the whole concept behind anti-life uh whatever it is penicillin amoxicillin uh, all these different uh antibiotics which again antibiotics anti-life they destroy everything it, it's it's really no different than um you know, Agent Orange, when you get down to it, it's just at a smaller level. Everything's uh, microscopic. So there you go again. Everything we've been conditioned and brought up with is turning out <laughs> to be clearly wrong. Uh, Anthony Smith shares, you know, that he's had issues and that he lost a family member. Um, and you have followed Anthony for a long time. You know, he's, he seems to be a good guy. Um, and I've, I always wondered, you know, the UFC was one of the things that never really shut down. It just modified uh, the way it was doing things. There are some um, 
as we know, there are some industries out there that people did certain things in droves. And here, this is what uh, a warm LED looks like normally to us. If you took um, slow motion video, you would see that this is actually what's happening. So, you know, this is causing um, dissension. This is causing tension. This is the type of thing that could also maybe even trigger epilepsy in certain epileptic seizures in certain people. And when you start to realize that it's everything, everything that's mainstream out there in some way, shape or form has a negative aspect to it and to our well-being. Um, here is RFK Jr. We, one of the U.S. crops that was always non-GMO, that was a long time ago, uh, <laughs> because the U.S. exports six billion a year and we, our biggest buyers, refuse the GMO version. Um, yeah, they won't buy it. And, you know, wheat is one of the things, corn too, um, that are very, very inflammatory to the body when it's GMO. Um, here you go. Yet last week, the FDA and USDA approved Argentine developed GMO wheat strain for the U.S. Were U.S. consumers or wheat grow growers uh, given a say? No. And, you know, will we lose our health? Our health is failing uh, <laughs> so quickly. It is so obvious to so many. Um, again, how in the world does the FDA and USDA exist at this point in time? after the miserable job just looking at it from uh, uh, the standpoint that the average person might they've done a horrible job atrocious job you know because life expectancy is declining uh, again for infertility it it, you, it can't get any worse they they all need to be fired right now they should have been fired yesterday and then a medical marvel take garlic where have you been dunce you know, I mean, geez, everybody knows this. Garlic is, is like the first thing you should do. Well, everybody should know all this. Why don't they know this? Because they're too busy. We, we were having this discussion yesterday again with this individual um, who has been somebody that's, you know, in the system and had normal priorities in life, you know, uh, normal typical you know again trying to better themselves financially you know the whole uh, American dream type thing and yet now is very awake to what's going on I'll tell you there's there's a lot of people out in the country uh, good old country boys and gals that understand that something is very wrong and they will not trust blindly again never they will never trust blindly again Oh, no. You know, I mean, I'm to the point now where it's pretty simple for me. If I see something on a wrapper that says USDA approved or FDA approved, I go the other way because, I mean, that's a shining example of what they approve. They're only going to approve stuff that, that's going to make us somewhat sick, you know, in some cases a little bit sick, in some cases a lot sick. But the the whole point is it's like, chipping away at a statue so every little thing that we bring in if it's uh, filtered through one of these alphabet soups you know it's going to cause just a little bit of a problem or even maybe a big problem but if you're in the mainstream and everything you touch and do is approved by these alphabets well that's going to be a problem and you might find yourself going to the dr wondering what's wrong and they're going to run blood tests they're going to say no you're fine there's nothing wrong you go over even maybe go over your lifestyle oh no everything sounds fine it all looks approved i don't know what's wrong with you you know it's becoming more and more obvious to uh, many people and i'm happy to see that i mean a lot of people understand the bigger picture and um, they're doing their best to make their lives better and tell their loved ones look you know this is we have a problem here and and more and more often the other thing that I really like more and more often if you're on a mainstream video watching a mainstream video and they're uh, going along with the program and uh, they're highlighting for people to do a thing or purchase a product you look underneath that and you'll see hundreds of people say don't do this this is a lie this happened to my mom this happened to my dad 
don't even do this to your pets. You know, I mean, it's just on and on and on. Hundreds of people are awakening and, and, and that is a blessing. So I do feel as, uh, we're making a difference. You know, we're all making a difference together. It, it's not just me and Mike. We feel supported now. Everywhere we look, people know and understand. And we know when uh, the, the big companies suppress the views the way they do, the more they suppress, the more we are we are on target. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is, you know, just part of this grand awakening, which again is, you know, something to be aware of. It's, it's probably the most dangerous time you can imagine. Uh, and the way these kitties, look at these guys, control C, control V. Uh, they're just taking their position and they're watching the show, you know, uh, cute little kitties. Now what I got out of it was... The way the kitties moved and the way they watched the show, it reminded me a lot of the movie The Fourth Kind and the owl watching, which was really a, a gray watching. And, you know, yes, with the the reality is the demons, you know, the extraterrestrials uh, that really run the show, uh, they, they're being outed. And so it's, it's a level of, of stages, uh, which does make it, you know, all the more dangerous because... You, if you had a condition where all of a sudden everybody on the planet knew exactly what was going on, uh, then what would the control system really do? I, I don't know. But the, the good news is we, have, we do have protection, and they understand that if they move too much in one direction in an open manner, uh, then there are beings that are well above them uh, that can go ahead and do the same. So they're, they're careful not to. Indeed. Yeah, so there are benevolent ones out there is what I'm basically saying too. Uh, and hence, this is why all the drama, this is why we have all the cat and mouse activity going on, so to speak. Again, thank you guys for your support. Much love out there. Look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.